Hello, Mr. Beeland here with our last video talking about writing formulas and naming compounds. So I have a name here. It is calcium nitride. How do I turn this into a chemical formula? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each piece and I'm going to refer to my periodic table to find the oxidation numbers or also known as the ion charges for each of these elements. So if we look on our periodic table, we have calcium, which is Ca. And calcium has a charge of two plus. Now, when we look at nitride, which element is that? That is nitrogen. So we're going to go onto our periodic table and we look at nitrogen and it has a charge of three minus. All right, so we know for sure that our formula is going to be CAN, but we need to make sure that the charge balances out, right? The whole point of making a compound is so that your oxidation numbers, your ion charges neutralize, they become zero. So right now, if we just have one calcium and one nitrogen, two minus three is negative one, we're not balanced. So that's not going to be where we wanna end, okay? So the question is, how many here and how many here? So the way we do that is we take the positive two for the calcium and the minus three on the nitrogen and we try and figure out some number that's gonna go in front that will help that balance out. The easiest way to do that is to find the lowest common multiple. This is a math term, right? The lowest common multiple that both of these numbers multiply into, two and three. Well, two and three, the lowest common multiple is six. So how many groups of two do I need to get to six? Well, two plus two plus two. And how many groups of three do I need to get six? Two. So two plus two plus two is positive six, minus three, minus three, that neutralizes everything. So this tells us that I need three calcium ions and three nitrogen ions, which means that I have a final formula of Ca3N2. And that 